get published now and we'll move on to motion number one, Unity Against Public Sector Pay Freeze, submitted by South East Region. Um, this SGE policy is to support this motion. Can I call on the mover of motion one, please? And that is Paul Couchman, representing the South East Region, moving our motion one, Unity Against the Public Sector Pay Freeze. After health and safety, our members' pay has to be our number one priority. After giving COVID contracts worth billions to their cronies, the Tories announced yet another pay freeze for millions of public sector workers. Our members have stood on the front line, putting their lives at risk, and now they face sinking further into poverty. They've suffered over a decade of cuts and pay restraint, losing up to 14% of their income since 2010. Our members desperately need Unison to lead the fight back now, across all the sectors. We need to send the clearest message to the Tories and to all the employers. We won't pay the price for your total mismanagement of the COVID pandemic and the economic crisis, especially when the 1% continue to get massively richer at our expense. We understand that individual pay claims and campaigns are the responsibility of the various sector committees and service groups, but this is a public sector-wide attack on our members. The local government service group executive has a vital role to play within wider public sector pay policy, both as it impacts members of our diverse service group and in leading the call for unity across the public sector. The government wants us to be divided, public versus private, health versus local government. We mustn't play their game. As always, unity is strength. Our service group represents many workers who have been right in the front line throughout the pandemic, in social care, in schools, in further education and within academies and the private sector. And these workers continue to work on the front line, often for little more than the minimum wage. This is why we say that the service group executive must call on our newly elected Unison NEC to launch a serious campaign against the pay freeze for all public sector workers, as well as calling upon our general secretary to push for an emergency meeting of the Public Services Committee of the TUC, looking for a united cross-union campaign to defeat the pay freeze. The government and the employers need to know we mean business. The campaign should include producing campaign materials, social media activity, and online and physical meetings for members that stress the unity of all workers and should include highlighting how much public sector workers have lost in real terms since the launch of austerity in 2010 and particularly focusing on the role of public sector workers during the pandemic. We need to argue for increased taxation of the super rich and big business and to make sure they pay. This tax income should be used to invest in public services, in workers' pay and for full income protection for any workers who cannot work because they need to self-isolate because of lockdown restrictions or for any other COVID-related reason. Any campaign must stress the importance of unity. We want pay rises for workers across all sectors. As we said, we, we reject Tory divide and rule tactics. We're in favour of unity between workers in the NHS, local government and the private and voluntary sectors, and crucially, between those who can work from home and those who have to go to work in their workplaces. The stresses, strains and health and safety issues for both home workers and those in workplaces must be highlighted. Calling on the NEC and the General Secretary to launch this campaign is vital. But the SGE also has a specific responsibility to launch a campaign on behalf of our members covered by the public sector pay freeze. So we're calling on the service group executive as an immediate step to seek an agreement with all the sector bargaining committees to launch a break the pay freeze campaign that will lead from the top, immediately starting consultation with members with the aim of winning support for ballots for industrial action across all the sectors, approaching the other affected service groups through the service group liaison committee for a joint campaign against the pay freeze. The SGE must also encourage and support local government branches to organise rallies and protests of their choosing and depending upon current restrictions against the pay freeze, ideally before the end of the year, providing template materials for branches to use and adapt accordingly. Clapping is not enough, delegates. We need a united cross-service group, cross-union, massive industrial campaign to smash the public sector pay freeze. We showed what we're capable of during the pensions dispute of November 2011. That is the kind of united industrial campaign we need today to beat the pay freeze. We can make a start here. You can lead the way by overwhelmingly supporting this motion. Thank you. Thanks very much, Paul. Um, there are no